I'm back out with Gemma. We're in her gear blind. We just got downpoured on. But we got here early because I wanted to do some mock scrapes. And then I wanted to... Uh, the spy point wasn't working. It just stopped working, but the 12 volt came unplugged. So I got that fixed and got that up and working. And uh, so we got out here plenty of time. But then when I got back back to the blind, I noticed that we didn't bring the bolts for the her crossbow. So then I, I left her here and I had to walk all the way back up to the truck and get my bolts, or get her bolts for the her crossbow. The turkeys are already out. I got a small buck and a doe over here in the pasture behind us on a neighboring property. Uh, we saw a bald eagle flying through earlier, which was cool. It's been pretty dead for the last couple hours. We've seen a couple deer scattered around. I've seen a couple in the pasture, and then we got a doe and two fawns, as you guys saw. There hasn't been many ducks, there hasn't been geese, birds, squirrels, anything. It's just real slow. I didn't even bring my bow, I just let Gemma. sides would be so much work because I would have to move so much stuff out of the way. Gemma's always making faces. So it's, we got 45 minutes of hunting lay left. Gemma's back there chowing down on some Cheeto buffs. But we have, there's a couple bucks, small bucks in the pasture. And then there's some does over there that we can see right now. So my review for the LTO tracker is about to start. If you guys are gonna want more details on this, hit this link up here. I actually made a separate video for Total Firearms. That's their video, there's a little bit more information. Both of them are overviews, the one just has a little bit more detail. But my video, 
pretty much will tell you whether this is for you or not. For the people that think it's for you and you guys are already interested in buying one of these, go to that review. There's a lot more information and you will see whether you want this hunting tech or not. So otherwise, enjoy the review or I'll just see you on the other page. This is the Leupold LTO tracker. So what this is, is a thermal observation for game recovery. I know none of you make bad shots on deer, but if you have that friend that makes a bad shot on deer, what's up Adam? Then this is a great tool to be able to recover that deer. It's gonna help you find that deer. It's gonna help you track that deer. With this, it's $679.99 plus tax. So that's pretty much the price point where it's at. You're talking close to 700 bucks or a little over 700 bucks, I assume, after taxes. I guess that depends on where you live. For the most part, you know, this is going to be used as a tracking device. You can find blood with this. You can find, you know, recent footprints with this. So another thing you could use this for is security. So you want to be able to see outside, see around your house, see if somebody's working. You know, you hear a noise in your backyard. You don't have cameras. You can't see out there. You don't want to turn on your lights. Whatever. Pick one of these up. You can look out in your backyard. You're going to be, you'll see anybody moving in your backyard. Now, what are the specs? You have a 206 by 156 pixel screen sensor is what they want to put on here. Basically, that's the size of the image that's coming through. So you're not going to be getting 4K images. You're not going to be getting even HD images. You're not even going to get 80s standard television. You're going to be able to see what you need to see when you're using this. Now, it says up to 600 yards. I couldn't get 600 yards away. It has a 21 degrees field of view, so it's pretty narrow. I was probably six feet away from my cat, and my cat was taking up pretty much the entire screen. 30 hertz frame rate, so it's like a quarter or even a tenth of what TVs are running nowadays. Now, it does have a six times digital zoom, so basically what you're doing is as you zoom in, you're lowering the pixel range every single time. So six times, when you're zoomed in all the way, it's 34 pixels across. The display on the back is 1.22 inches, almost an inch and a quarter. And then the display resolution is 240 by 204. So the display resolution is actually a little bit better than a sensor. It uses a CR123 battery, and it says it has 10 hours of continuous runtime with this battery. And then it has a five year electronics warranty. This is the actual geothermal thing. So it looks pretty much like a flashlight. So you have the power button here, zoom here in the middle, and then the color change there. And that's pretty much the only three options. Now you could take this apart here, and then there's a screen. Obviously you guys have already seen the screen. This is the sensor. I assume that that's what that is on there on the front. I wanna see if you can detect stuff through a scope. So this is the manual. Kinda of looks like a box of condoms. And then it just says durable aluminum housing. And it, is, it feels like I still don't want to drop it, but I feel like if I did, it would not break. It was designed, machined, and assembled in the USA. That's what it says. We'll get this out. I'll do a little bit of testing. I'm going to try to do my best. I don't have a blood splatter trail to follow or anything, and I'm not friends with Dexter, so I don't really have that option of just having warm blood to try to track. You're gonna have to bear with me on this wind and my shirt. It's a dollar shirt at Walmart. It's a dollar. I'm not gonna not wear it. Basically what I did is I, I made this contraption here to hold my camera in place and then as well hold this thermal tracker. Right now we're gonna do a test real quick and see how far this camera can see me. I got it lined up with the sidewalk. Hopefully the somebody doesn't stop on the side of the road to snatch my camera and thermal tracker that I can't afford to pay the money back to uh, total firearms so hopefully we can get that right this has got to be close to uh, 200 yards probably now I can see cars that were going by but cars are gonna run a lot hotter than my person than my body heat and this is gonna be three times zoom four times zoom five times zoom so now I just need to mimic a blood trail Jimma <laughs> so obviously I can't use real blood and it looks like it just picks up the hottest source. So now, with them gone, the hottest source would be his footprint. So we got red, green, white. Enjoy watching my cat lick itself in thermal. So my hand, fingerprints. Mark is about 30 yards from me. 
And I'm gonna zoom in. So that's two times, three times, six times. You can see the pixels are pretty square. Yeah, I really like the green the best, I think. That's where, right here is where he was standing in this pine tree and behind all that thicket. I'm gonna get this back to Total Firearms and I'm gonna pick up something else to review. You know, let them know if you guys are interested in, in something like this or let, you know, let us know that you guys are interested in something like this. If you would like more reviews, more details, maybe I could use it in a game recovery in the future. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys wanna see that and then that way, that gives them incentive to give it back to me and use it uh, in the field when I actually need it. I mean, I make perfect shots, so my deer aren't gonna go anywhere. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. But for anybody, you know, and any one of my friends that I go, you know, to deer camp with, they shoot a deer, and we gotta track it. You know, this would come in handy. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I gotta go.